Okay, people, welcome to, uh, to this video review. We're gonna be now taking this watch that I just got. Is this is the Timex Intelligent Quad Flyback Chrono Compass? <laughs> it's quite a long name, but it makes honor to the long name because it has several functions. In case you want to know the code, the number for this watch in the web page, it's T49. 865ZA. Um, if you want to find it, maybe in the in the web or something. That's the code. Um, uh, basically, I just purchased this watch because it had been quite a long time looking for a an analog watch because I was very much used to the nice and the and the easy interface of um, digital watches, especially where uh, after have owned owned several um, how you call it G-Shocks from Casio so I but I wanted some very nice and good looking um, analog watch but I was very skeptical basically because of the lack of fu of functions in most of the in the analog watches but I am I met this little guy and first of all I was very impressed for the look that it has as you can see it's a beautiful beautiful watch very nice to the, to the eye you see it's very thick has a very thick feeling so it's kinda heavy but you don't feel it heavy in your wrist because it has the wristband is very comfortable it's very soft rubber and anyway you feel it very durable um, it has steel case, steel, stainless steel back case it has some steel rotating bezel and, um, basically the look is very nice uh, so uh, when I t after I looked at it and I started learning about the functions I was really really surprised uh, so you first of all you will see that it has one two three four different buttons and it has one two three four five six different hands each one of them uh, can can be used for several functions so first of all you have the hour hand the minute hand and the second hand uh, so far it's just pretty normal you have the date there that is very accurate it always changes around just midnight so that's up to there pretty okay this hand over here it's the secondary time hand so it will show you there it is pointing for example 23 so it means that somewhere else in the world it is uh, 11 p.m. so uh, but you'll see that also works as another with another function this one I uh, hear it will work as a minute hand for the chronograph and this one here will be a second for the chronograph and also the compass so when it comes to the functions this button you see the hand in the middle starts counting minutes this one goes back this one all I mean seconds minutes and this one will count every 10 minutes it will move one space until it reaches 6 it will be an hour 12 2 hours 18 3 hours 24 4 hours so for being an analog watch having four hours of chronograph that is very impressive most of the analog chronograph uh, watches they have maybe half an hour one hour and then that's over but this one has four hours that's very impressive also has the lap function so for example i press this one and go back to zero and starts again and anytime i press it it starts again so that you can measure several laps you see and if I stop, come back to zero, you'll see that it comes back to the original place. And this one there will take a while and then goes back once again to the secondary time. So that's basically the chronograph, it's very easy interface. Um, here you'll have the, the compass function. So you'll see that 
here we have the compass I hope it doesn't interfere too much with the magnetic field so the, that's the line is pointing the north the, the green arrow is the north we'll see if the computer and the compass doesn't interfere too much so not so much do you see that is the north pointing towards me that's the north and if you spin you would keep pointing the north of course it's never so much accu as accurate as a compass and then after 20 seconds it will go back to the original place so the good thing is that you can also for example here I I press the chronograph chronograph is working and during the chronograph I press the compass button and it will start working and of course you can rotate the bezel trying to find the north and you will know more or less where you are pointing and after 20 seconds always you see 20 seconds and it comes back to the normal chronograph mode and of course you can stop it and come back to the normal again so that's pretty much the interface of the watch um, of course as I told you it has a very nice look it has a lots of functions it also has the, I don't know if you can notice it there has the Indiglo light it's very nice, has a very nice con contrast and when you have it in your wrist, wait a little bit it feels really secure, it feels like it won't fall even though sometimes one of the bad things that this thing comes out here like this but it, anyway, it doesn't, it doesn't, it won't fall. You feel it that it's very tight and very nice. It has a very nice looking. One of the things I don't like that much is that only has the date, the day for the date. It doesn't say like the day of the week. Uh, but other than that, you see that it has a very nice look in your hand. It, it feels sturdy. It feels durable. Looks nice for from almost any angle that you look at it you will find yourself if you get this watch sometimes looking at your watch looking at your hand not even just to look the time just <laughs> to look at to look at the watch so maybe you will people think that you're not too polite <laughs> because you're looking okay I'm a bit late I'm looking at the watch nope just let just let just you are just looking at it it's just beautiful <laughs> Okay guys, uh, I hope you like this review. This is basically to show you more or less how it works. So if you're thinking about purchasing a good looking, uh, very versatile, you can use it. You can wear it with a suit, with sports. If you wanna go outdoors, I've been in the outdoors, treating it not so nicely and it has almost no scratch at all. It's very, very durable, very nice glass. This is your watch, but so far this is mine. <laughs> See you guys. Thank you for watching.